Hello, my name's Maddie. Welcome to my storyland. Though he was born in England, lived in Scotland, the United States and Monaco, and died in France, William Robert Service is usually thought of as Canadian, and certainly the work he is most famous for was either written in or influenced by his time in northern and western Canada. It is for this reason that he is often referred to as the Canadian Kipling, or the Bard of the Yukon. Service was many things, a poet, a writer, a banker and son of a banker, a cowboy, a newspaper correspondent, a traveller, an adventurer. But one thing he wasn't was pretentious. He certainly didn't take himself or his art too seriously. He wrote primarily for himself, for his own pleasure. To the extent that he did write for others, he wanted above all to be understood. In his eyes, he did not even write poetry, he wrote verse. He didn't believe in what he called pretty language. As a result, his work is often clean and simple, never weighed down with heavy metaphor or self-conscious artistry. But it would be a mistake to think it simplistic. A hero, while not one of his most famous pieces, is, however, a perfect example of this. It is a short read and not a difficult one, but its themes are nonetheless complex and give the reader much food for thought. It goes in unexpected directions, and when it's done, you are forced to look again at the title of the poem and wonder. It's about free will and powerlessness, inner demons and insanity, and heroism. And today, it is my pleasure to read it to you. Are you ready? Then let's begin. A Hero by Robert W. Service Three times I had the lust to kill, To clutch a throat so young and fair, And squeeze with all my might until No breath of being lingered there. Three times I drove the demon out, Though on my brow was evil sweat, And yet I know beyond a doubt He'll get me yet, he'll get me yet. I know I'm mad, I ought to tell the doctors, Let them care for me, confine me in a padded cell, and never, never set me free. But oh, how cruel that would be, For I am young and comely too. Yet dim my demon I can see, And there is but one thing to do. Three times I beat the foul fiend back, The fourth I know he will prevail. And so I'll seek the railway track And lay my head upon the rail. And sight the dark and distant train, And hear its thunder louder roll, Coming to crush my cursed brain. O oh God, have mercy on my soul. And with that I bid you farewell. I hope you enjoyed the poem. Perhaps I'll see you again. I certainly hope so. Until then. Hello, Maddie here. Thanks for watching me read stuff. There are lots more videos of me reading stuff over on my channel, and if there's other stuff you'd really like me to read, just let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I upload new videos all the time, so maybe hit the bell icon too, so you can get notified when new stuff comes out. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.